Hey guys, so today in this video I'm finally doing the tattoo tag. The tattoo tag has been highly requested on my channel for years and I've had, I, it just slipped my mind. I keep saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it and I never end up doing it. But I'm finally doing it. I'm going to talk about like the first tattoo I got, then the second, third, fourth, fifth, like that. So I'm going to go in order. So the first tattoos that I got was two, actually two at once. And I was 14 guys. 14. Your girl is stuck in it. No, I'm just playing. But I was 14 and I had to get a parent permission. So my mom signed for me. I got two matching tattoos with my sister. I wonder if you guys can guess which ones. I have a lot of matching tattoos with my sister actually. So I wonder if you guys can guess. But the first ones that I got was this star right here and this heart right here. So this heart right here and this star right here. We got a star. I gotta ask my sister why we got that star because I don't even know. I think because it looked pretty cool. Yeah, we got the star because, you know, we just like stars. We're like, oh, let's do a matching tattoo together. And the funny thing is my sister got her first tattoo when she was like 18 or 17. And I got my first tattoo when I was 14, which I can't even believe. I can't even believe that these people let me get a tattoo when I was 14. And I haven't stopped since. But I actually haven't got a tattoo in like two years. I want to, but it's just now i overthink like what do i want to get what do i want to get now that i'm older because i'm like i do not want to regret that at all i think we had a heart for like a bond a sister bond something like that or we just thought it was cute after this tattoo i don't remember what tattoo i got next to be honest but i know i did get a lot of tattoos so i'm gonna just say the other tattoos that i got so after that tattoo i think i got I think on my side was my next tattoo and it's basically like a tribal cherry blossom i'll probably put a picture there or probably not because i don't like how it turned out oh let me talk about the heart so the heart right here if you guys can see the heart right here there's missing spots on it i think because when it was healing i hit it and i never got it you know touched up i want to get it touched up but i'm gonna i'll probably do it in the future but I always forget to just ask the tattoo people, can you like, touch this up for me? The next tattoo I got was actually on my side. It was a cherry blossom tribal and it didn't heal well. This tattoo I got at, so these two tattoos I got at a tattoo shop. And the, my side tattoo, I did it in someone's kitchen. So it was my cousin's friend. I did it in his kitchen and I don't like how it turned out. Um, I don't think it healed well, so I'm probably not going to show you. And if I show you, the picture will be right here. But I don't like how it healed. And if I could get a tattoo removed, it will probably be two tattoos. But at the same time, I'm like, I did it, so I don't want to remove it. Like, it means I regret it, which I do regret it. Because I was probably 15 when I did that. I thought I was a big woman. I could do anything I want. And at that time, I got blessed which is right here and there's an ohm sign there but i got that at a different time so i got blessed which is right here on my wrist i got that with my sister and i think that that was the same day that we got it we got blessed because we gotta stay blessed we gotta manifest that we're blessed we gotta know that we're blessed we're blessed period a lot of people have blessed tattoo and i think that's super cool next tattoo that i got now this tattoo we used to do tattoos at home at my house and i was like in aspiring to be like a tattoo artist i was 16 16 i was 16 and i wanted to be a tattoo artist and actually everyone around me supported me my mom and dad supported me and i was doing tattoos on other people at the time and they probably came out trash and i'm very sorry for anybody who has a tattoo by me some of them came out some of them came out trash but people trusted me to do it they were like oh i'll be your guinea pig so my cousin did this at our house because you know we were just all doing tattoos on each other like it was like a little jail I and mean, we know i'm just playing um but we did a ohm and and done ohm for hinduism the tattoo that i have here now as some of you guys know is a rose but i had a tattoo underneath that which i'm going to talk about first and i'm going to talk about when i covered up the rose and should i talk about the pain level i didn't even talk about the pain level this video is all over the place so this one didn't really hurt i'm a g when it comes to taking tattoos i don't move i'm real good at it so this one didn't really hurt this was probably a one out of ten a three barely hurt 
took five minutes this one didn't really hurt it's your wrist though but didn't really hurt and then these the blessed kind of hurt though because it was more closer to like my veins because as you could see this is a little bit more far up and then blessed is a little bit closer to my vein that didn't really hurt and ohm didn't really hurt so my hand ones didn't really hurt and but i'll tell you which ones really did hurt because one of them was killing me so i had a angel wing and it said papa and angel wing for my grandpa and it was it was just really bad line work um we did it at home my cousin did it and we're not experts even my line work was trash so the line the line work was pretty crooked and you couldn't really read the papa in it so i had that for a few years um it didn't really hurt the pink level was probably a six out of ten i mean you felt it but it didn't really hurt i did get this covered up but later on and i'll talk about that but yeah i'll show i i think i have a picture of how it looked and i had that on my body for about three years until i covered it up and you know i'm happy i covered it up and i'll probably get papa again tattooed on me because i don't have it right now but i feel like it looks better covered up because the line work was not good and then i have faith right here which i don't mind the line work for that i mean it says faith oh i don't know if you guys, yeah I have faith right here and I don't mind the line work of that um my cousin did that again at home the same day and yeah my mom has faith tattooed right here so it's like our little matching tattoo but hers is better because she was a tattoo artist I did it at freaking home the pain level for this our at home tattoos didn't really hurt because I feel like we didn't go into the skin like how tattoo artists do that's why it's kind of like a faded type of look so this didn't really hurt at all just probably like a five or a four after that i don't think i did any more at home tattoos i think we was done with that oh actually i had something here and i i i can't kid you i don't know what the word was i was 15 my cousin did it it faded i don't know what it said I don't know what it says if anybody could help me it's right there if y'all know what it says let me know but now it just looks like freaking vain first i'm gonna talk about this one this is a six and this held up extremely well this held up really well if you don't know um tattoos actually fade on your finger pretty quickly but you can see this like this hasn't fade it's very dark it says a six 1996 my birthday you know six for six six is my favorite number so i just got a six there because it's my birth year 1996 pain level didn't hurt it felt like you know little bites like this it didn't really hurt here and it took 30 seconds not even and then the same day i got this tattoo which is just an x a red x i thought it looked pretty cool so i got it and my sister actually wants to get an x and she said for her the x will mean um that like to remind yourself that you're a 10 so i'm like oh i got an x so i'm gonna remind myself that i'm a 10 every day and it's red so i'm a fire 10 period next tattoo i got was my chest there we go because i forgot to talk about her so as you guys know i got the um angel wing and the papa done at home and now you guys know like i got a rose there so this was a cover-up for the papa and angel wing and the cover-up was the most painful tattoo i got the most painful like out of all my tattoos even my hand the the cover-up was the most painful it took about three hours it hurt so bad it was just so painful and i thought it wouldn't be that painful but you know i didn't bitch about it like i took it like a g but this was probably a 10 out of 10 painful nah i'm bugging an 8 out of 10 but that's still painful it's not like the highest pain ever but it was pretty painful i think it was pretty painful because it was cover up and she was doing a lot of shade work and a lot of color work it's a lot of detail in this tattoo and i love it it's one of my favorites but it hurt like a bitch it hurt like a bitch my henna tattoo so initially i just did this finger and my middle finger and my thumb and you know the henna right here and i didn't do these two fingers 
So basically my tan was looking like this and I didn't do these two until maybe two months later because so I was like do I want the same design here and here and you know I want to add some more things to it like here but I just have to think what I want and maybe like a wrap here. The rose is one of my favorite tattoos but it's second. This one is my favorite tattoo. I just love the art of henna. I've always loved henna. It was so pretty and creative. So my tattoo artist actually drew this out for me. I told her everything I wanted. I told her like I wanted like a crown involved. I wanted Lord Ganesh involved. So if you look at it a certain way you kind of see Lord Ganesh tribally like in a tribal form i wanted arrows she incorporated arrows because arrows is like a great meaning for tattoos i think it means like new starts new beginning positive things and yeah i just wanted it to look very henna-y and i wanted it to have a meaning i wanted aries symbols right here so there's aries symbol which i thought was pretty cool so right there i have my mom and dad's zodiac signs incorporated somewhere here the aries um the aquarius and pisces sign and yeah i think like the aquarius is like a little bit there and then the pisces is somewhere here i don't know or just pisces i don't know this one is definitely my favorite because this was just a lot of thoughts and a lot of drawing ups and it's definitely one of my favorites and i really like this tattoo so the last tattoo i got is on my like ankle so it's basically a raven me and my sister got a raven together the raven tattoo means like intelligence and wisdom and also we got a me and my sister actually love the show one tree hill we can watch it all the time every day it just means a lot to us we love the storylines and we just grew up watching it it's our favorite show together we can watch one tree hill every single day every single hour if we could and yeah and so raven was actually the mascot of the school in one tree hill and also lucas from one tree hill he wrote a book on kindness of ravens he just wanted um a matching tattoo again together because we like to get matching tattoos together because you know it's a cute sister thing to do and we got a raven together for one tree hill and you know yeah and i really like this tattoo too i feel like i wear a lot of anklets and it looks so cute with anklets and you know when you're wearing a skirt and like some slides some cute heels my ankles are looking cute with the flow raven those are all my tattoos and i wonder how many tattoos i have in all let me count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I have 11 tattoos. I am going to be working on my hand henna tattoo a lot more soon. I want to add, you know, the wristband thing. So we're going to see how that works. If I do add anything else, I will show you guys and explain to you guys as well. And yeah, this video was highly, highly, highly requested for so many years since i've been doing youtube and i hope people are actually so interested in it because i waited too long to do it but yeah it's okay hopefully it's okay i don't know if it's okay let me know if it's okay. thank you guys so much for watching and let me know your future tattoo ideas and let me know if you have a tattoo idea for me maybe you guys are like this will look cool this will look cool oh you should do this for your hand so let me know so thank you guys for watching and stay safe bye